Hello and welcome to this video on ethical hacking methodologies. Ethical hacking is the practice of intentionally brewing systems and networks to uncover vulnerabilities. But unlike malicious hackers, ethical hackers do it with permission, helping organizations enhance their security posture. And in this video, you will explore some of the most important methodologies that ethical hackers use to identify and fix security issues. So, what exactly does an ethical hacker do? An ethical hacker's job is to think like a hacker, but act like a defender. They use the same tactics and techniques as malicious actors, but their goal is to prevent damage by finding weaknesses before the bad guys do. Many ethical hackers are certified in the programs like CEH, the Certified Ethical Hacker Exam, or OSCB, the Offensive Security Certified Professional. However, one key difference between ethical hacking and criminal hacking is that ethical hackers operate legally following strict guidelines and agreements that protect user privacy and ensure that no laws are broken. Now, let's dive into the six key methodologies ethical hackers use when conducting a penetration test. First, reconnaissance, which is also known as the information gathering phase. During this phase, ethical hackers collect as much data as they can about the target. This can be done passively without the target knowing using tools like Shodan or Google Darken to gather public information or actively by directly interacting with the system use tools like Nmap to scan for open boards and surfaces. After reconnaissance comes scanning and enumeration. This step involves probing the target more deeply scanning for more vulnerabilities or identifying open ports, operating systems, and services that could be exploited. Tools like NASA's or OpenVAC are commonly used here to find positional entry points. Once positional vulnerabilities have been identified, the next step is gaining access. This is where ethical hackers attempt to exploit those vulnerabilities using tools like Metasploit. The goal here is to prove that a vulnerability can be used to gain unauthorized access, but without causing harm. But hacking doesn't stop at getting in. Hackers often try to maintain access to the system, so they can return later. Ethical hackers also test this phase by installing backdoors or pre-sentence mechanism only to document and then remove them after the test is completed. Next is covering tracks. Hackers often try to erase any signs of their activity to avoid detection. Ethical hackers simulate this phase to ensure that login and monitoring mechanism are robust enough to detect intrusions. Finally, ethical hackers write up a detailed report of everything that they have found. This report includes the vulnerabilities, how they were exploited, and the most importantly, how to fix them. A good report provides actionable steps for improving security and is a critical part of the process. Before we move on, if you are finding this video helpful, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell. I regularly upload content on cybersecurity and subscribing ensures you won't miss out. Ethical hacking plays an important role in protecting organizations from cyber threats. By simulating real-world attacks, ethical hackers help companies identify and fix weak points before attackers can exploit them. In conclusion, we have covered the main methodologies used in ethical hacking, including recognizance, scanning, getting access, maintaining access, covering extract, and reporting. Ethical hacking is a key practice that helps safeguard the digital world and as cyber threats continue to grow, 
So does that be demand for skilled ethical hackers? If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, leave a comment, and subscribe to the channel for more content on cybersecurity. Thanks for watching.